Welcome back to Presume Legal. I am Nisha Janice, an attorney licensed in both New York and Florida. Before we start, I want to thank you guys for your support for this new series. As a creator, I, I always second guess myself about whether people want to watch what I create. So I just want to say to those who comment on and like my videos, thank you. You all make my day and it's a pleasure to provide you with a few moments of edutainment. Now, we're re-watching testimony from the three past trials in the murder of Dan Markell. The goal is to cover one area of testimony per video and see how that testimony has changed over time, if at all. These trials span from 2019 to 2023, so we'll see the progression of that testimony over that time. Today's area of testimony is the very controversial saga of Wendy's changing her son's names from their father's last name, Markel, to her maiden name, Adelson. If there's one hot button topic that sums up the wrath, the animosity of Wendy towards the Markels, including her ex-husband, Dan, who was murdered, it's this. Did you change your children's last name from Markel to Adelson? I did. When was that done? So after Danny died, there was a lot of press coverage and CNN put pictures of my children's faces unblurred on national television. Newspapers put their names without any consideration to the fact that their children and well, I, I appreciate thought, that, but the question is when, when did you change their names? When they started mm -hmm. school, I registered them under my name, hoping it would keep them safe. Mm -hmm. And, and was then, that approximately a year after their dad was killed? It was whenever I registered Ben for school, so it was, it was soon after. Okay. But I didn't legally change their name until after that. Okay. And where did they start school? When you say you changed their name when they started school, was that here in Tallahassee or somewhere else? No, it was in South Florida. So that fall, they started regular enrollment like you would in the normal beginning of the school year? That's right. Okay. And did you also eliminate your older son's middle name? When I legally changed their names, I did. And you just dropped that from the name? I did. Okay. And that was a name that came from Dan Markell's deceased maternal grandmother. Is that correct? The name started with an A, which was to honor my grandfather, Aaron Adelson. And the second half of his name was to honor Danny's grandmother. Okay. So we lost an honor to both families. Okay. Thank you. No further questions. We see Wendy try to give her prepared speech about why she changed the boys' names. She got some of the monologue out and thankfully Georgia cut her off because it wasn't making any sense. We also heard about how Wendy changed her older son, Benjamin's middle name. Although the jury did not hear the middle name, we know the name was Amahai. I did look up the pronunciation and I heard it, it was that pronunciation as well as Ami Chai. So a little background is necessary here. In 2009, when Benjamin was born, his dad, Dan Markell, wrote a blog article documenting the bristening and explaining the origin of the baby's name. He explained that his son's English name is Benjamin Amichai Markell, and his Hebrew name is Lev Amichai Markell. Dan then explained the importance of each name in a separate paragraph. Here's what he said about the name Amichai. Lev's middle name is Amichai, both in Hebrew and in English. The name in English is spelled A-M-I-C-H-A-I, and its Hebrew spelling is An Mem Yud Ket Yud. Apologies for any pronunciation mistakes. The name is powerfully special to us for several reasons. First, as many of you know, Danny's bubby Helen, his grandmother, died just this past spring after a rich and numinous life of 95 years. 
Bubby Helen's Yiddish name was Kashki, which was a diminutive of her Hebrew name, Kesha. That name, Kesha, means protected by the Lord, which is sometimes rendered as a sanctuary, a sacred place of calm and serenity. The name, Amichai, itself means, my people lives. And like the name, Kesha, it also includes the letter Ket. Knowing the unwavering commitment Bubby Helen had to the Jewish people and the Jewish tradition, we think she would take great, great sanctuary, that is great calm and serenity, in knowing that her people, that is our people, live on in the name Amichai. Secondly, the English rendering of the name Amichai begins with the letter A, which we used to recall Wendy's Papa Aaron, Harvey's beloved father, who died while Wendy was just a sophomore in high school. So Dan went on to mention that the name Amichai also honored the great Israeli poet Yehuda Amichai, whom Dan had personally met several times. So we've all heard Wendy's reasoning, albeit faulty and unbelievable, for why she changed the last name of her sons. However, we never heard an explanation for why she changed her older son's middle name. She just never gave one, and it wasn't specifically asked either. I did a bit more digging into the traditional meaning of the name Amichai, and to my surprise, some sources state the name Amichai means not necessarily my people live in the broad grand sense, but rather that my parents live or my parents are alive. And suddenly it clicked why Wendy would not want that reminder in her son's life. Did you change their legal names about a month or so after the murder? No, not a month or so after the murder, no. Okay. When was it done? Even sooner than that? No, absolutely not. Um, when I tried to put my children in school and their faces had been unblurred on CNN and all across social media. I'm not I'm sorry I thought to interrupt we were in you, but if you'll answer my question, my question is, when were the boys' names changed? The boys' names were changed after I wrote a letter to Danny's family explaining why I was changing their names. When were their names About changed? a year after. Okay, and that was when they were legally changed, July 6, 2015? I don't remember right? the date, but if you have it, that sounds correct. Okay, so they were legally changed on that date, but just a month or so after the murder when you were enrolling them in school is when they effectively had their names changed. That is not true. Okay. And what did you change their names from and to? I changed their last name from their father's last name to mine. From Markel to Adelson. That is correct. And did you also drop the middle name of one of your boys that was a tribute to his paternal side? It was a tribute to both families. Did so you drop it? I did. I lost an honor to both families that day, yes. Let's jump off topic right now and talk about your boys' names. That in the time after the murder, you changed their last names from Markel, Markel to Adelson, right? A year later, yes. Why? I was scared. Of what? Of someone coming to attack them. So it's a year later, you won't look at anything because you don't want to know what's going on in the case. And the thought is, well, they're going to be protected if they have my last name and not Markel, right? Yes. Now, years later, arrests are made. It's clear who committed the murder, Secreto Garcia Luis Rivera. The Adelson name has been dragged through the mud. Why haven't you continued to protect your boys and change the name back? I will be changing. The, I'm not going to change the name back. I don't think that will help. One day I'll change all of our names. So between the first trial and the second trial, Wendy somehow decides that her enrolling the boys in school under her maiden name is not effectively changing it. We also see Wendy trying with all her might to get her prepared monologue out to the jury. Georgia has to cut her off a couple of times to get Wendy to give an answer to the question. Finally, on cross-examination, Wendy told us that she had no intention of ever changing the boys' names back to Markel, despite their current last name, Adelson, being disparaged and dragged through the mud. To which Wendy replies, I don't think changing their name back to Markel will help anything. She then makes a wild claim that 
One day she'll change all their names. Wendy, are you all right? What kind of foolishness is coming out of your mouth that you expect the jury to believe this? And by the way, your time is running out to change all of your names, including the boys, because they're almost 18, after which point they won't be minors in your custody anymore. So get to it, or were you perjuring yourself? When did you decide to change the names of your children from uh, Markel to Adelson? So after Danny's murder, there was a lot of news. It just hit the media and there were news stories everywhere. And Nancy Grace on CNN put pictures of my boys with their faces unblurred, just pictures of them. Mm -hmm. And I was terrified. And so when they started school, I started school with my last name, thinking that would keep them safe, that they wasn't, wouldn't be associated with the murder. Wasn't the Adelson name in the press? Just it was as not as in the press. Markel? Not yet. Do you agree that you legally changed the kids' names on July 6th of 2015? That sounds right. So it was actually a year after the homicide. A year after. We see Wendy this time successfully performing her monologue about why she changed the boy's last name, stating it was because the Markel name was all over the media and she was afraid for their safety. She was terrified. I recently watched a YouTube video by Madness and Motive that debunked Wendy's assertion that the Markel name, but not the Adelson name, was all over the media following the murder. The creator, his name is uh, Brian, actually shows proof, bringing up articles on the internet, both domestic and international, that were written within days and weeks of the murder that specifically identify the Adelson name. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box and urge you to check it out. That creator is putting out some solid gold videos about this entire saga. So it's a blatant lie that the Adelson name was not in the media. Her ruse of fearing for their safety, thus changing their last name, simply fails. So that's all for today. Remember, if you have suggestions of topics covered in each of the trials that you'd like to see back to back in one video, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thank you for liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Until the next drop, peace.